A sports car should be about the chassis in the first place, meaning that the suspension, brakes and overall feel behind the steering wheel should be the priority. Many see the engine power on top place, and those won't be impressed by following cars, which lead in the slowest sports cars of all times list. Volkswagen SP2 Technically based on the Volkswagen Type 3, a regular passenger car, the SP2 was built on budget, sharing the layout with everything in the rear. It was constructed due to the close import to Brazil, independently from Wolfsburg by some people only altogether. The most limiting aspect was its weak engine, for which it was nicknamed as the Sam Potencia, without power. Honda S800 Succeeding the S600, neither of them was a K-car, but rather a conventional sports car with a tiny engine. The S800 could rev up to 10,000 rpm and was the first Honda to go 100 mph. Early models were equipped by a chain drive and an independent rear axle, but after that it was all a conventional drive shaft with a solid axle. Porsche 914 The Porsche 914 is a Volkswagen and Porsche in one body, as initially the 4-cylinder variant was meant to be a VW. This changed during the development, selling them all as Porsches, being an entry-level model succeeding the 912. It may have been the cheapest of them, but don't think it is cheap to maintain, although it was quite slow, even with the 2-liter, let alone 1.7-liter. AutoZam AZ1 If you know a better and cooler looking small sports car than the AutoZam AZ1, don't forget to type it in the comment section, because besides the looks, those gullwing doors make it very special. As a K car, it is limited to just 660cc, but that turbo made its lower part of the rev range usable. DeLorean DMC-12 Simply as a DeLorean, there was much to be expected from a, such a design masterpiece. It had gullwing doors, fiberglass body structure, and stared in a movie, increasing its popularity rapidly. There was a 2.8 liter PRV engine, which wasn't such a rocket as it could seem. Mazda RX-3 The name was Mazda Savannah in Japan, 
but officially sold as the Mazda RX-3 outside the country. As a base, the Grand Familia model was used with a rotary power plant installed inside it. It was either the 10A or 12A according to the engine displacement. Today it is a popular base for a more modern rotary swaps with crazy performance. Pontiac Fiero Although the Fiero sold very very well, it suffered from mismanagement, taming its engines and tuning transmissions into a more efficient setups, increasing the fuel economy. But as the Fiero was a mid-engine sports car, obviously people liked to beat on them, which showed problems with reliability. MG Midget The MG Midget became a standalone model as a rebadged Austin Healy Sprite. It was very light, but also with very little power from a BMC A series engine fed by a twin of SU carburetors. Later, more powerful units were introduced, including a detuned version from the Mini Cooper S with 65 horsepower. Suzuki Cappuccino Being one of the smallest roadsters on the planet, it also used a turbocharged three-cylinder unit with 64 horsepower. When both seats were occupied, the Cappuccino was said to have a perfect 50-50 weight distribution. Besides, it also featured four-wheel disc brakes and double wishbone suspension. Fiat 695 Abarth SS The original Fiat 500 is anything but fast. The least powerful models could not even cross the 60 mph border. Above all versions was this Abarth 695 SS with a reworked engine using high compression pistons, a magnesium sump, a Weber carburetor and a new cam with an exhaust. The peak power raised to 38 horsepower. 